Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A. What's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? What's up, everybody? Hope y'all all are having like a great day. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping through. Make sure y'all hit the like button on your way in, you know, so that way we can get this video populating. You know, we could be on track. We can get more views. So make sure you share it and hit the like button, okay? And post a comment. Do it all for me, please. There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world up you guys i hope y'all having like a really great day to be honest you know it's saturday it's mid-afternoon and i said i'm gonna do this video today okay because i was gonna chill and relax but it's wild african okay so what better way uh, to start off a saturday is with doing a wild african tutorial now y'all know what i say about them they be having the best of the best of the best of the best of the best like they have won my heart over i love me some wild african when i tell y'all they got good wigs girl they got some good wigs girl okay plus they got some really 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 good wigs and their prices are not too steep you know what i mean like you're not gonna go broke over a wig from wild african so make sure you head on over there get you a wig Tell them April sent you. Thank me later. You know, look cute. Send me a pic. Tag me something. You know what I mean? I feel like my mouth is getting dry. Hold on, guys. So this this lipstick. Oh my god. This lipstick from Shein is very matte. You ever get a lipstick that's so matte your lips start to get dry? That's how I feel. Okay, I gotta get some water. I'm so lip dry. Hold on. Guys. So now we back in full effect. Girl, I had to, um, my mouth was dry. Okay. I, I don't know if it was the lipstick or I had me a sandwich. I had made me a nice little sandwich while I was, you know, finishing up my makeup. Went grocery shopping this morning. Me and the grandkids, two of the grandkids, not all five of them, just two. Me and Tato and Tinky, we went to the grocery store. And if y'all live in Arizona, because I know some of y'all do. And if you go to the grocery store, because I, I know y'all do. Okay. If you have never went to Winco before, girl, trust me when I tell you, you definitely definitely can get a huge variety, a cart full of stuff for like $150 versus going to any other grocery store like Walmart or Fry's. Um, also, you can go to Aldi's, but they don't really have everything. But Winco, W-I-N-C-O, Winco, they have great prices. Even if it's not on sale, really, really good prices, okay? And that's why I drive. It takes me 24 minutes, but it's definitely worth it. There's like two locations. I go to the one that's like in Surprise and I love it. The one in Glendale, which is by the mall, Arrowhead Mall, that's the one I first started going to. It's great, but the traffic over there, you, you know, because the mall and all these other stores are over there, it takes a little bit longer. Same distance, but it takes a little bit longer, more lights. So I like to go to the one in Surprise. So if you're trying to save some money, girl, check out Winco, okay? <sighs> Now, now we're about to get into this wig. So I got me a new wig from Wow African. You know, when you do Wow African, that's why their name is Wow African, because you just be like, wow. Like, wow, girl, that wig is wow. Wow. I'm telling you guys, this is the truth. So this time around, girl, this is a yakky. I believe it's a yak. It could be kinky, but I think it's yakky. Um, I'm going to put everything down below. This one is the one with the hairline, the 4C hairline. Now, what I did before showing you guys this, I did pluck some of the hair out of the 4C hairline. I'm the type of person where I don't like all of that 4C edges on my wig. It just starts to make it look like the hair is broken off or, you know, it's just too much of it. And I don't like a wide perimeter of it. I like it to be a little bit, not a lot. When it looks like it's a lot, it does look like your hair has broken off. And we don't want that, okay? And also, I will hot comb mine, okay? I'm gonna hot comb it. I'm gonna hot comb it real quick. And while I do that, because I don't really want to hot comb this while I'm wearing it, because girl, I already had a burn mark, okay? So I'm not trying to earn an extra one. But while I'm hot combing the edges down, I'm gonna show y'all how your wig come, okay? For why?
All right, y'all. So we're going to just do this real quick. I decided that I'm going to do the rest of the pressing of the edges on camera with you guys. Now, as you see, I just take my hot comb and just comb through it. Now, the one important thing I will say, if you don't want to use the 4C edges, you want to just brush them up, use a wax stick on them first. You definitely need to use a wax stick and then go ahead and press. My first suggestion though is to get you a canvas block mannequin head. When you get a canvas block mannequin head, trust me, you'll, you'll, you'll thank me later. It's a lot easier to style your wig and it's definitely easy to press it. Now this part is definitely something you need to do, which is part over the ear. If your lace is over the ear, if it's falling over your ear, you definitely will not, will need to you know cut away a little bit of it just by parting directly above your ear where that that lace is at and just cutting that extra off like you see me do now i do this in a lot of videos so if you couldn't get the grasp it on this video go check one of my other wow african wig videos i have a couple of them and you'll definitely see how you can achieve by cutting the lace over your ear because if you don't cut the lace over your ear then you're gonna have a cap that doesn't fit well now you don't really need to glue these down. I don't use any type of glue. I use hairspray. I love the Aussie Instant Hairspray. Aussie Instant Freeze It's my go-to. I tell you three coats and it's good, it's stuck. And that's what I do here. I let each layer of hairspray get tacky to the touch of the feel. And then I spray on the second layer because if you're spraying them on wet and wet and wet, it's not gonna dry like that. So you wanna make sure each layer is tacky prior to spraying the next. This will give you a really good hold on your wig. And I do spray the third layer on like you see right here. I spray that on wet. So my first two layers are tacky. My third layer is wet. And I do this because it'll help the lace really, really melt in your skin. And it's already gonna dry super quick anyway because there's already two layers of hairspray. I use my blow dryer, my rat tail comb, and girl, I just press into the lace. Favorite, favorite styling foam of all time. It does say it's strictly for curls, but it's a really good thick styling mousse, and it doesn't turn watery like others do. It keeps its texture. And I love it because it also holds any type of sculpting like baby hairs or sideburn hairs that you choose to do. And it, but it does not leave your skin sticky, nor does it stick to your skin. Now, I did need to use a little bit of the concealer in the part, and that's okay because I don't want my unit to come like overly bleached because if it's overly bleached, girl, the hair is gonna fall out. And that's just about it, you know? Really nice, beautiful hair. This is the Kinky Straight. It did a really great job with pressing it and curling it and the curls, of course, are going to fall. And once you wash it, of course, you're definitely going to have to curl it back yourself. But while African has some amazing wigs, amazing units, I especially love their hairlines, their HD film lace, which I'm wearing right here. Look at them edges. Girl, yes, this is this was this was a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And because it's so full, I just take my, you know, the hair on the side and I just twist it around and use a bobby pin to hold it in place and that's it girl okay that's it and as y'all see i just went ahead and brushed all of the actual 4C edges up into my hair, up into the hair, hot comb them up, and then I would also used the styling mousse to brush them up while wet so that way they could really stay. And then I did brush a little bit down to make it look like, you know, those are my edges. I don't really want so many of the 4C edges, not so thick. It just gives the look that your hair has broken off from due to heat. So I like to actually 
brush them up. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's your preference. You wear how you see fit. This hair, listen, let me tell y'all, this is some beautiful hair. Lovely, lovely hair. I'm so happy that they went ahead and curled it for me. So once they fall, the curls are going to be even juicier and prettier. I didn't really want to disturb them in the back. Y'all already know what I say about wow, African. Wow. Girl, what? Wow. Like they have some of the best of the best of the units. And the one thing about them is they are not overly priced. You know what I'm saying? They have nice lace. This is like the film HD lace. So it definitely melts in your skin. You don't even see it. They have great hairlines. I love their hairlines. And they just have like a variety of wigs, but they are not overly priced. So I really appreciate the fact that they have some amazing units and not like breaking the bank. You know what I mean? I'm just like, wow, like this, this looks so Girl, this look nice, okay? I don't care what y'all say, this look nice. I love some wild African wigs. They have like the best wigs. One of the best wigs. And y'all know, I don't really have a lot of favorites. I think I have three favorites and Wild African is definitely one of them. You just, you know what? I love a good wig. With a Wild African wig, you don't really have to do much of anything. And also they come through with quality. You have the elastic band, which is removable. They also gave like the silicone sides by the ear tab, which will help it hold in place and also in the nape, which I also do appreciate as well. The units always come style, clean hairline, HD film, Swiss lace. Girl, listen, you definitely getting your money worth and then some with Wild African. African. So y'all know what to do. Hit that description button down below. Check out Wild African. If you don't already know, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and family, even share it with people you don't like. Okay, then it's even better if you share it with people you don't like. You can like spam them and they can get tired and just click on the video. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, like the video. Check out Wild African. I hope y'all have like an amazing week. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I know I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Okay. And you already know we Slay like it's our B-Day. Slay, slay. Slay like it's your B-Day. Do it like it's your B-Day, baby. Do it like you born to slay, baby. Do it the white African way, baby. Wow, just wow. I'm happy, and I like to be happy when I do a wig review, so it's, it's really important to me, okay? Because I don't really like wasting my time, and then, you know what I'm saying, I got to really work hard, but I didn't have to work hard with this one. Never have to work hard with wild African. Never. The best of the best of the best come through, okay? I love you all. Stay diva and delicious, and I will see y'all in the comments and in the next video.